Hey there, true crime friends. Listen, I'm about to record my morning, my regular morning rise in true crime, but I was sitting here doing some knitting this morning and ciao. Okay, look, this is the latest on the obsessed mess. Um, you know, crime writers on Rebecca Lavoie and Kevin Flint. Oh, I love them. To me, those are like mommy and daddy of true crime podcasting. They started the whole thing in my mind. They are the best. They're professional, like super, super professional. And I love their podcast, Crime Writers On. Now, listen. They were at the fire fest that we know as Obsessed Mess. Um, that is the Obsessed, what is it? Obsessed Fest 2023. They have experiences to share and they share them all. But listen, people were talking about it yesterday and I was like, where is this thing? I cannot find it on their regular feed. This is where you find it. It's over there on Patreon. It is a free episode. So download Patreon, log on to Patreon, go check out Patreon and see their free episode that released yesterday, Thursday, uh, Thursday, November the 2nd, 2023, where they talk about their personal experience at Obsessed Fest, but also about Patrick Hines specifically. Child, they come with receipts. They come with behind the scenes stories that I personally had never heard. And really they're talking about like Patrick's behavior, Patrick's personality, the way things went down. And they were like, yes, we got free tickets. They were paid to go to the Obsessed Fest. They got tickets to go and they were flown Southwest. Okay, um, no shade to Southwest. A little bit of shade to Southwest also some other pod, uh, some other participants in the festival were flown first class. Ouch. Also, um, when all of the, when, when the Obsessed Network first started, Patrick would come to um, Rebecca and be like, I will always, oh my goodness, you are so wonderful. Thank you for your mentorship, blah, blah, blah. I will always promote your work. And then when his work outgrew hers, she was like, hey, what about a spot? And he was like, Girl, no, because time on my pack podcast is too expensive, sir, sir. Um, can he just go to personality rehab? I'm just curious. Um, so apparently, people are fleeing the obsessed network like rats off a sinking ship, and I think this might be the end of that network. Could he even sell it? I'm thinking no, because it has no value. And apparently, I'm wondering what happened with Christy Teigen and Patrick Hines. I don't know anything. But what was alluded to in the podcast today is that anytime somebody had like difficulty with the media, Patrick would drop them and trade up. And that makes me wonder, is that a statement about Chrissy Teigen or did that happen someplace else? When was the last time we saw Patrick reference Christy? Now, full disclosure, I have not listened to their podcast in a minute because I was like, okay, how are y'all unfunny and so navel gazy? Although there are podcasts that have gone on for much longer periods of time where the people stayed like, humble and sane and, you know, did not lose their rabbit ass minds. So um, we're going to see what happens with this obsessed mess. But look, I have my own trials to get back to. You know, Charlie Adelson was on the stand yesterday down there in Florida, and I need to talk about it with my true crime gossip. So look, this has been your obsessed mess moment uh, early on this Friday morning, November the whatever today is, 4th, 2023, something like that, y'all. Look, if you feel so inclined, like and subscribe and follow my other cases. I have playlists for everything. There's an Obsessed Mess playlist where you can watch everything Obsessed Mess. Right now, I'm covering uh, the state of Florida versus Charlie Adelson. And that playlist is called The Adelson Crime Family. Honey, I will see you over there. Bye-bye.